Rasta is not about. Look how much people eat I tell them a vegetarian and them are not Rasta. Look how much people wear locks and they will tell you themselves that them are not Rasta. Being Rasta is being love. It is knowing that we are to be lovers of humanity. Being Rasta is knowing that Emperor Haile Selassie I is the fulfillment of prophecy. King of kings, Lord of lords, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Christ in his kingly character. Straight from the line of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba by the way of Menelik the first. Knowing that he is the embodiment of the might and the power of the Holy Trinity, meaning the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in flesh. It is declaring to humanity that by his rightful divine authority, he is Earth's rightful ruler. So tell the world, say, Morgan Heritage say, Morgan family say, you don't have a dread to be Rasta. Celestia said the one now. Peter Anthony Morgan, lead singer of the popular reggae band Morgan Heritage that he founded with five siblings, dies on Sunday at the age of 46, his family announced. In a statement posted on Sunday via social media, the family asked for privacy and thanked people in advance for their love and support. The announcement did not share a cause of death. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness wrote on his social media that his heart is heavy over the news. He called Morgan's death a terrible and devastating loss for Jamaica and reggae music. Morgan, who was known as Peter, was a son of a renowned Jamaican reggae singer, Dinroy Morgan. Him and his siblings formed Morgan Heritage in 1994, and the band won a Grammy for the best reggae album in 2016 for Strictly Roots. One of his brothers, Roy Grumps Morgan, moved to Tennessee, where he aimed to introduce Nashville to reggae. If you follow reggae music and country music, it's a lot of storytelling, Morgan told the Associated Press in 2018. In reggae, we tell the story of people suffering. Morgan's untimely death has left fans and fellow musicians alike in a state of shock and sorrow. Following in the footsteps of his father, Dean Roy Morgan, himself a notable reggae artist, Peter, together with his siblings, co-founded Morgan Heritage in 1994 a group which was committed to upholding the authenticity of reggae while infusing it with their unique style. Their debut album Miracle, released in the late 1990s, marked a significant breakthrough for the band. Introducing audiences to their soulful harmonies and socially conscious lyrics. Subsequent albums such as Protectors Jar, and more teachings further solidified their status as icons within the reggae genre. Morgan Heritage quickly rose to prominence with their soulful harmonies, thought-provoking lyrics and engaging stage presence. Their debut album Miracle, which was released in the 1990s, was met with critical acclaim, marking their arrival on the global stage. The success of subsequent albums such as Protectors Jar and More Teachings cemented their status as reggae icons. Peter Morgan's distinctive vocal style, often likened to the legendary Bob Marley, touched the hearts of fans worldwide. His music addressed social political issues, spread messages of love and unity, and celebrated the beauty of his Jamaican heritage. His contributions to Morgan Heritage's discography included hits like Don't Have a Dread and Down by the River will forever be treasured by reggae enthusiasts. As we mourn the loss of this extraordinary artist, we also celebrate his legacy. Peter Morgan's music and his passion for reggae will continue to inspire future generations. His voice may have been silenced, but his music will live on, echoing in the hearts of reggae lovers around the world.
Rasta is not about Look how much people eat I tell them a vegetarian and them are no Rasta Look how much people wear locks and them will tell you themselves that them are no Rasta Being Rasta is being loved it is knowing that we are to be lovers of humanity. Being Rasta is knowing that Emperor Haile Selassie the first. Double trouble right here on Get